After three days of sprinting, it was time to break out the skin suits and the aero bars for a 12.6 km time trial on an out and back course from Almaya Island. With a number of excellent time trialists in the field, we were looking at a wide open race for the red jersey. Sunweb's Nikias Art was the early pace setter with a time of 14.43 until BMC's Miles Scotson left the ramp. He beat Arndt's time by 6 seconds to take the lead at the top of the standings. He wouldn't be in the hot seat for long however. Rowan Dennis in the green and gold skin suit as the Australian time trial champion was up by 2 seconds on his BMC teammate at the 7km checkpoint. He then blitzed the second half of his effort, toppling Scotson by 16 seconds with an incredible 14 minutes and 21 seconds, an average speed of 52.6 km an hour. It was clear that effort would take some beating. Jonathan Castoroviejo split the two Australians, nudging into second place with a time of 14.35. So it was down to the 109th rider off the ramp, Tom Dumoulin. If anyone could beat Dennis, it would surely be the reigning time trial champion. Things were looking great for the Dutchman as he improved on Dennis's split time by a single second, but as soon as he made that turn for home he had to stop and change bikes due to a mechanical. His frustration was plain to see as any chances of the stage win evaporated in an instant. But to his credit he refocused and hit the line with a respectable 14.52, losing just 31 seconds to Dennis in the end. Elia Viviani's previous best effort in a World Tour time trial was 49th, but he put in an admirable effort in defence of the leader's red jersey with the 31st best time on the day. But that wasn't enough to stop Dennis from taking the stage and the overall lead in the Abu Dhabi Tour. Here's the top 10 on the day and we can see some more notable performances from Wilco Kelderman, Brent Bookwalter and Alejandro Valverde who will have really boosted his chances at the overall standings with that performance. It sets up an intriguing final day tomorrow, the Queen stage of this year's Abu Dhabi Tour with a summit finish up Jebel Hafeet, an 11 km long climb averaging 6.6%. A stern test for the climbers then, Rowan Dennis revealed in the post-race interviews that his main contenders will probably be Dumoulin and Valverde, but let us know your favourite for tomorrow's stage win and indeed the overall in the comments section down below. To catch up on yesterday's racing you can click the link on screen now.